Hello everybody and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I'm going to share with you a couple of tips on taking care of your stamp pads. So the first one um, I'm going to share is um, how to get glitter off of your ink pads. Now Dazzling Diamonds is lovely. It gives you a beautiful glitter effect but it goes everywhere. Um, and uh, it lands on your stamp pads. I don't know if you can just see the light that's catching that, but I've got a lovely sprinkling on there. So all I'm going to do to clean these up is to get some painter's tape, and the, the white or the blue will work equally as well. And all I'm going to do is to gently lay it over the ink and just gently pull it up and it will bring all the, those little glittery bits off of your pad. It's not going to take too much ink off, but it might just take a little and get rid of that. And there, I can still see a few little pieces over here. So I'm just going to go back in. Time I'm just going to go this a ways, and I think probably good, all done and clean. And also, when you're using your stamp pads, you get uh, ink around the side, and in the main, that isn't too much of a problem. But what happens is, is you'll start to find that uh, this is exactly where your fingers are going to go. And then you find you got ink on your fingers, you go pick up the envelope or you go pick up the your piece of cardstock and suddenly you've got a bright blue um, fingerprint right in the middle of it. So uh, I just have, I keep these um, wet wipes, um, flushable wipes, whatever you'd like to call them. Of course this isn't going to open now, there we go. Handy. And you can just use these to go round and just get this get this cleaned up and ready for the next time that you want to use it. So that's getting glitter. Also, little fibres. If your stamp pick up little fibres off of the paper, cardstock, etc., that you're using, then you'll be able to use um, the same technique to get those little fibres off. Now my next technique uh, or tip is a little bit more involved and that is what happens when you get the wrong colour ink on your stamp pad. Basically what happened here is um, a very um, burst um, stamp or, an ink or a stamp with berry burst on it was accidentally placed on um, this lemon lime twist and I don't know if you can see it but it's, it, it is in here. So again, all is not lost. All I'm going to do is to gently pull that ink out with a wet wipe. Um, and what it's, what it's actually doing is it's easier to see that there's the wrong colour ink in there now that I've taken some of the ink out. But because of these sponge based stamp pads, um, it does allow you to draw the wrong colour ink out of your pad. Um, now I'm not really sort of rubbing, I'm just putting pressure, persuading that wrong colour ink to just come out of my pad and I'm very nearly there. You've just got to be gentle. If you rub it you're going to split the sponge and that might just affect your you know how your your final images come out because you'll have a little gap in the ink on your stamp. Alright so it just takes a little bit of patience Nearly there, I think. Yep. I think we're good. Okay, well now I've got 
a, a blank spot or a one with very little colour so I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my reinker and I'm just going to pop some ink back on and I use the back of a, of a teaspoon some people use their bone folders um, but those will absorb the ink and discolour so as I say I prefer to use the back of a spoon and I'm just gently going to introduce the ink back into the pad just gently smooth it I'm not putting an awful lot of pressure on the spoon I just don't want a pool of, of ink um, in one place now I would normally leave this for, for a couple of days to let the ink um, sort of spread out um, uh, and get back into the sponge but if you need to use this pad again straight away then there's no problem with that and then just bring this ink down that's on the sides uh, looks like I've got some a little bit of fiber there so we're going to use the trick we've just used and I'm going to pull those fibers up there we go again probably off the cardstock there we go and I just probably just carry on smoothing this down just a little bit just to make sure I've got a nice um, even um, spread of ink and then clear out my edges so I don't put my finger in ink next time I open this pad there and I think I'm happy happy with that okay so there's your two, two tips on looking after your stamp pads if you do look after them if you buy your ink refills uh, when you buy um, your, your ink pad um, and then you'll be able to um, keep your ink pads in good working order well I hope this has been helpful for you appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you next time bye for now